Hi there, DW Berman here with a video about After Effects. Yes, I uh, used to do a lot of videos about Lightwave, and I still intend to do videos about Lightwave again, but I've been using After Effects a lot more the last couple of years, so I haven't had as much uh, playtime in 3D as I used to have. Well, so full-time job, blah, blah, blah. You don't need to know all that. Today, what I'm covering is a few tips about layers. Now, there are some keyboard shortcuts you might want to know and are very handy to have. Um, most of them deal with the square bracket key. That's the one, you know, just above to the left of the enter key on the Windows keyboard. Or So, about the same on the Mac, I guess. So, um, yeah. If you press the left bracket key, left square bracket key, it'll move the beginning of the timeline you, are, you have selected. It will move it to wherever your time slider is set. Same with the back key. If you hit the right square bracket key, it'll move the end of the clip to wherever your time slider is. This is really handy if you've copied and pasted something from one comp to another and it is way down the timeline somewhere beyond the range of what your comp is actually set for. Uh, there are some modification keys for this. If you hold down Alt while clicking on it, you'll see that it moved the endpoint. It did not move the timing of the clip, it moved where the clip starts. And again, same with the Alt right hand bracket key. That way we can quickly trim up our clips. And again, if we use the right bracket key, it'll move it down to the timeline where the current time indicator is. So if you want to uh, sync something up, you can find just the right spot on the, uh, on the clip, quickly alt click it and then put it in the position you want it. And there you go. And when I said alt click, I meant alt bracket key. So there we go. There are some quick tips for moving things left and right, right around the timeline. Oh, I should also point out, um, if you have a clip that is shorter, or there's more footage outside of the area of the clip, and you go to the um, pan behind tool or the anchor point tool, if you click here, not on the main time thing, well, I guess apparently you can. If you uh, use the pan behind tool, you can actually scrub uh, through the video where the in and out points stay the same, but you're just changing what portion of the footage is being shown. That is also very handy. If you're in the regular arrow key and you drag on the handle, you'll move the clip around. But if you click off on the side where the, uh, the footage is not live, it's not between the in and the out points, it will actually scrub the footage behind as well. All right, a couple other uh, keyboard shortcuts to know is Control D or Command D on the Mac. Uh, that duplicates a layer. And if you want to split this layer in half, you can do that pretty easily by holding down Control Shift D, and that splits the layer in half, divides the layer, duplicates the layer with different in and out points. Whatever the D stands for, you end up with two layers split at the point of the current time indicator. So that's dealing with video footage. Now let's uh, switch over to multiple layers. Here I have a comp with a whole bunch of layers. Let's say I want these all to be lined up. Um, what I can do is I can click on these three. Somewhere up here in the menu system, there will be a, uh, a line. And this only works for 2D objects. So my line panel opened up way at the bottom. So here, this is like Photoshop or Illustrator. We can line these up pretty quickly like this and distribute them on the center. And uh, let's uh, kind of do the same. Let's align them to the left side. It probably makes a difference as to which order you select in. I should probably know that. Okay, so let's redo these again. Distribute layers. This is not the greatest example. But here we go. They're lining up. Looks like I have an extra video clip hiding back there. Let's get rid of it. Okay. And again... We'll do the same thing vertically just to make sure they're all lined up and then I'll mess them up again in a very short amount of time. So again, here we have uh, just a grid of clips. It's all nice, but what if I wanted this one popping on, then this one, then this one, basically down the line. Uh, these aren't actually in order, so that'll make it a little difficult. So let's uh, rearrange these. Oh, I should probably point out that uh, rearranging has a keyboard shortcut as well. You can move these layers up and down in the stack. Control left and right bracket keys. Control right bracket moves a layer up in the stack and uh, control left bracket moves it down in the stack. And if you hold down shift, it'll jump it to the top if it's the right bracket and it'll jump it to the bottom. 
This is very similar to, to Illustrator's layer ordering keyboard commands. So send to back, send to front, all that stuff. It's pretty much the same. It's not something that's immediately obvious. So anyway, let's see if we can get this quickly in order. And let's move that one up to here. Sometimes using the mouse is a little quicker for me. Sometimes using the keyboard's quicker. Okay, so let's say I want to pop them in in order, left to right. A quick way to do this is, again, using that keyboard shortcut, the Alt, right hand bracket, that will shrink all the layers to that size. Now I can use one of the, I can, yeah, select the top one, shift click on the bottom one, go up to the animation, keyframe assistant, sequence layers, hit OK, and boom, they're all sequenced down like this, but now they're just popping in and popping off. Okay, I just go to the end of the timeline and do another alt right bracket this time, and now they're all stretched out like that. So now when we play it, we have them popping in one at a time. Say I want it to be a lot faster than that. Okay, no problem. I'll just bring them all to the beginning, step over a couple things. Oh, by the way, you can step through your timeline by holding down control and hitting the left and right arrows. So that steps it through. So let's say uh, two frames, maybe one or two frames. Uh, Alt, right hand bracket to select them. This time let's select from bottom to top. We'll, we'll say we wanted to go in the reverse order. Selection order makes a difference. So back to animation. I should probably stop and breathe at some point, but uh, well, we'll just keep talking. Again, sequence layers from the animate or keyframe assistant and then boom. Okay, now we're out at the end. There we go. Again, that was the alt right bracket to change the out point of the layer, and there we go. Now we're adding pictures up. So those are a few quick tips on uh, using the timeline uh, keyboard shortcuts in After Effects. Powerful tools to get to know and use. Uh, they speed things up much more than just trying to drag things a few, you know, drag things around with the mouse. So. Good stuff to know. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe or like it and, you know, leave a comment if you have some other quick tips. That would be great. Uh, also, I have some videos for sale on liberty3d.com. And uh, again, check out the other videos I have on YouTube at uh, youtube.com slash dwberman. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.